What is up guys, we're back with another Sonic Speed Simulator video. We're on the testing server and the new update is here, boy, yeah! Sonic Prime, they finally gave us the Sonic Prime update that we wanted. In previous videos, I recommended that they add our boy, Knuckles the Dread, as a skin as well as Chaos Sonic, but I also recommended that they add No Place as a zone and I don't know how they're gonna do it. I had no idea at the time how they would put this zone together, but I just said, find a way to do no place, that would be cool. And sure enough, they agreed because they found a way to do it somehow. We got the Dread event. Dread's treasure has scattered across the underwaters of no place. Find doubloons in Green Hill, New York, and no place. So you have to find 40,000 doubloons total. Uh, and you get these pirate chow who actually have the underwater ability So I assume we're gonna be going under the water similar to that like what was it called like reef zone that original like big the cat world in Sonic Speed Simulator 1.0 uh, Anyway, that ability is finally back which is interesting gunpowder trail ooh, which has a magnet ability which I love and Some more pirate captain chow so you can combine them together and make them actually useful and a pirate ship hoverboard? This looks like it's gonna be crazy. And of course, Knuckles the Dread is the exotic super prize, as well as a thousand red star rings. So without further ado, let's jump into No Place and see what this is all about. I'm so excited and I'm so glad that GameFam and the Sonic Speed Simulator team are actually listening to our suggestions. This was like such a reach because like, how do you make this work, you know? like. An all water zone like clearly by going under the water or something is how you make it work right but oh my god go underwater and then here's the return to green hill oh my god this looks crazy what does this say tutorial collect gold doubloons in no place green hill in new york hidden treasure chest award 100 doubloons okay uh how do you okay i can't open this chest i guess we got another portal here to new york another cannon to go underwater Wow, and then again here is Knuckles the Dread. So let's uh, let's go underwater, I guess. Oh my god, we only have 60 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to get our bubbles and we got to run around and is this is this just a clone of Green Hill? It doesn't really look like it. Uh, oh my god, it is a clone of Green Hill. Look, it's got the rails and everything. Oh, no way. That's kind of cool, actually. I mean, it's 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 the same thing just again just underwater just we're drowning and suffering well while, while we're in green hill but i mean that's that's cool it's pretty interesting and of course your movement is pretty like slowed oh you can kind of just jump up can i just jump 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 and then get out of the water interesting okay we got to get us some doubloons and we got to look for those chests Ooh, how many doubloons are we at this is going to take like three hours to complete 500 only 500 out of 40,000 I don't know if the event chow even help your doubloon count or anything it's possible that they don't do anything so I'm not too sure on that oh a chest we got our first chest over here okay let's open this up a hundred I mean that's that's great but we need a lot more than that we need a lot more than that and we need our bubble ASAP oh another chest nice hopefully there's like 40 chests uh, so I'll be able to complete this a little faster. What's our first reward? A thousand. Okay, so we're almost there. We're almost there. We'll be able to look at those pirate chow and we'll get that bubble ability. Oh, I think we just unlocked them. Literally, we just unlocked them. Yep. So let's check out our new chow. We're going to have to unequip one of these silver chow. And where's the pirate? Here we go. These are their stats, which we kind of looked at before. But we're going to need to equip both of them because they both have a plus three bubble ability oh no uh, I mean I guess we'll get rid of one of our gingerbread chow since I don't even know if they're working oh no we need air we need air no there we go <laughs> I'll just stand over here with the bubble spawn okay let's equip our other pirate chow so we'll get some extra bubbles nice we got another chest here what's our next goal let's see 5,000 again not too bad Thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty-five thousand. It's a pretty big jump, and then forty thousand. I'm curious to see if the chests respawn or if we're just gonna be suffering. <laughs> we might just be, <coughs> we might just be suffering here. It's a pretty cool event, but I gotta say, unfortunately, 
like it's not that fun <laughs> like 40,000 they could have chilled on that man they could have chilled on that like and just this one task of collecting doubloons I don't know about that man uh I don't know how I feel about that overall like the prizes are great the idea is great to finally add an underwater zone again it's it's all in all like really cool but is it fun uh no it's 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 not fun how do I get back on the boat what if I want to get back on the boat let's see oh there's a spring over here so that's how we do it cool anyway I guess we're gonna I guess I'm gonna go ahead and grind this out and I'll check in with you guys in a bit oh yeesh guys I don't know I don't know I really don't know I'm <sighs> we've made our way through a chunk of the event and unfortunately I hate that I gotta say this I hate that I gotta say this I'm gonna suggest that you guys use auto run because I only grabbed 6,000 of these on my own. The remaining 12,000 was done in auto run and it took like not much time at all, you know? So it's kind of, I feel like it's just more efficient to use auto run. There's a lot of like long trails of these doubloons in Green Hill, funny enough. In no place, they there are some, but you're kind of slowed down by the water and constantly having to grab bubbles. And once you run out of chests, there's kind of no reason to like go back here, I find. Like we're gonna check one more time just to see if there's anything I missed, but I'm pretty sure I grabbed almost every chest in here and the trails are not that impressive. You can just grab them in Green Hill instead. So why would I go to no place? <laughs> you know, it seems a little pointless. I also did check New York. But the doubloon trails I found, I just found that the doubloon trails were very small, like you would only find a couple here and there, you know? And that was sort of it. So unfortunately, it seems like auto run is gonna be your best bet for this event, which is very unfortunate because they added this whole world, you know? They could have just, I don't know, they could have given us like a little something extra to do here, maybe add like, 20 more chests like we needed a lot more chests i found i don't know i find that that's disappointing because it makes no place kind of pointless if you can just do the entire event on auto run and it's like of course easier to do it that way but it's also it feels more efficient to do it that way when i was running around grabbing doubloons it, it felt like it took a long time just to get that six thousand, but like I said, the 12,000 that I grabbed on auto run, I was able to grab it seemingly a lot quicker. So yeah, like I'm going around, I can't see any chests that I missed. So I think that that's kind of it for no place, unfortunately, which is pretty sad to be honest, because th this all looks really cool. We got Knuckles the Dread over here with the awesome cannons and the ship looks so great, but it's it's pointless it's kind of it's kind of just pointless unfortunately which is uh sad but anyway i guess we're gonna go back to green hill because that's that's literally the most efficient way to to complete this event at least from what i experienced maybe you guys will have a different experience you can let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this and what method you use to complete this event because maybe you guys have a more efficient event than I do. By the way, the gold style silver limited event is still here, so you can go complete that. But uh, yeah, like look, there's just these massive trails of like, that was just a big chunk right there, a hundred. Every trail of them is like that, like here's another one. And this is just the path you go on for auto run. Here's another massive one. Oh, here's a red star ring that I missed apparently. And here's another one. And then by the time you do the round of Green Hill on auto run and you get back to the beginning, they respawn. They just respawn. So it's not like uh, you're going to be wasting time going around in circles waiting for them to respawn or something. They just, they respawn right away. So it's like, why? You just have this event that's like powered by auto run, I guess. Because, yeah, it's going to take you forever to do it in New York City, and especially in No Place, too. But anyway, I am going to continue grinding this out through Auto Run, but we are going to check out first the rewards we've gotten so far. So we've gotten more Pirate Chow, which uh, I don't need to show you because you guys already saw those. 
But we are gonna check out this gunpowder trail. It looks kind of interesting. I'm gonna switch to a different character since you're not really gonna be able to see it with Supersonic and his <laughs> like crazy glow. Oh, we got five of them, nice. So we can combine them together and make them actually useful. It's a legendary trail. And like I said, it has that magnet ability as well as a power ability. Oh, uh, I mean, it looks, it's kind of cool while you're moving. When you're moving, it definitely looks cool. But when you're standing still, it's kind of like, well, why are these sparks just coming out of my head? But anyway, not a bad trail, I guess. But yeah, as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and grind this out and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. Just like that, with some auto run grinding, you can complete the whole event. <laughs> the whole event. Dread's treasure has scattered. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's just the same message. It's just the same message, but anyway, but anyway, we're gonna check out the skin of course as well as the pirate ship hoverboard I gotta say like I'm really glad that they finally added no place as well as knuckles the dread to the game I'm so glad that they're listening to our our requests, but they could have made this event a little bit a little more fun, you know <laughs> It's essentially just the big the cat the old old big the cat event where you had to like run around and just grab stuff in that underwater reef zone. But it's just like the Knuckles the Dread version of that. But anyway, either way, we're still going to check out the skin. Here's our boy with his big cheeky grin, Knuckles the Dread. He's an exotic skin, of course. I mean, I don't know why he would be an exotic skin. Ray suit Knuckles is apparently exotic also. But anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and equip him. Yeah, he looks nice. He has that awesome grin with the gold tooth he's wearing a black and yellow captain's hat and he does the same idle animation as regular knuckles actually he's got these little bandages all in his quills and some of his quills are twisted up which is a nice little touch he has his awesome pirate jacket on which is black and yellow to match his hat but the under part is white and purple his gloves are black gold and brown to match his black and brown shoes yeah he he honestly looks really great I think his running animation is literally the exact same and it looks like his boost is the same too but let's go ahead and check out that pirate ship hoverboard oh no way look at this thing it reminds me a lot of the the Santa sleigh hoverboard but of course just giant pirate ship this is really cool this is honestly a really really cool unlockable and I do like that quite a bit some people were saying in my previous video that the flower in the water was where that ship was gonna spawn but sure enough uh, that's not the case it's just a random flower that's still here but hey now the ship has spawned there how about that oh I like got hurt there somehow just touching a flower but yeah that looks really really awesome I think that that's the perfect little hoverboard to go along with this skin but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video a really interesting update, a really great update I would say, but the event kind of leaves a little bit to be desired in my opinion. I'm really glad that regardless they gave us this brand new world, but I'm not sure if it's going to be sticking around or not. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to your boy. As always, we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. And once we do, I have a surprise for you guys planned. You're not going to want to miss it. You're definitely going to want to be here once we hit that mark. We're already almost at 5K, so we're halfway to our goal. I really appreciate all of your support. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace, 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 peace. Pop 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 pop